Graphics Card Fan Repair My fan stopped working on my low-end graphics card and caused it to overheat and glitch. I took the board out and removed the heat sink and fan assembly. Removing the heat sink was not necessary, but should you decide to do the same thing, it's a good idea to have some heat sink compound on hand for when you put it back on. Next, I removed the three small screws that hide behind the fan blades and then separated the fan from the heat sink. Not having done this before, I attempted to pry the fan from the motor. I didn't want to press my luck though and have to start looking for a new graphics card, so I left it on. To clean between the fan and motor, I used Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner. It said it was safe for plastic, so I took the risk. You should use an approved electronics cleaning product to be safe. After rinsing between the fan blade and motor, I blasted it with some air. I next cleaned the blades. I should have put some lubricant between the fan and motor, but I did not. Moving on, I popped the heat sink back on, and you guessed it, I didn't have any heat sink compound. But that's why we watch videos, right? I placed the fan back into the heat sink and secured it with the three fan screws I took out earlier. Once in place, I plugged the fan back into the board. It worked. I made this video with it and no glitches.